bonsoir à tous. Et euh, avant tout, mes remerciements et ma gratitude à l'endroit de tous ceux qui ont tenu à assister à cette réunion et euh, à l'endroit également de nos partenaires, de ceux qui ont voulu gracieusement participer euh, financièrement, matériellement et intellectuellement à cette réunion. Comme euh, l'a dit euh, tout à l'heure, euh, il est temps de passer aux actes, donc euh, je ne vais pas parler euh, très longtemps, mais euh, je voudrais donc énumérer quelques points très rapidement. Donc, euh, euh, premièrement, le, le point concernant donc, notre philosophie. Notre philosophie est basée sur euh, l'expression dite euh, non Mike euh, ouais, ok so, donc je disais que notre philosophie est basée sur euh, donc le concept du win win equation et euh, nous pensons qu'il faut euh, pour euh, le développement durable œuvrer pour la stabilité politique. Comment est-ce qu'on va œuvrer pour, pour la stabilité politique C'est en créant une sorte de confiance solide entre les gouvernants et les gouvernés. Ne pas faire des organisations civiles des opposants systématiques au pouvoir en place ou à l'État. Donc, dès qu'on dès qu construit cette confiance pour un objectif commun, pour le pays. Oh, ok, no, no French translator. She is coming. She is late. Well, so, uh, okay, you will have some patience to listen to my uh, bad English. Anyway, so um, I'm trying to say that, uh, as uh, someone said here earlier, it's time to work, not to talk. So I will summarize our action in, uh, uh, by defining the lines of our action. We have a philosophy. Our philosophy is based on the win-win equation, which means that we want everybody to be a winner. And we think that this is possible if we act for political stability, which means we need to create trust between the NGOs and the governments or the civil society and the government, not to um, always spin in this um, conflictual relations between um, the civil society and the uh, governance. And then also we think that solutions of uh, conflicts and terrorism are not always military. So we are expanding a lot on military means to fight against terrorists, but we are undermining some other aspects that might prevent terrorism. We shouldn't leave anyone behind. We need to integrate all citizens in our economic and uh, uh, educational model. So we need to work for sustainable development by preventing the causes that leads people to become extremists or to become terrorists. And uh, as for the global economy, um, global economic development, if um, the rich countries think that they need to expand their economy or to fight recession in their countries, but also they need new buyers, they need purchasing power from the other world. So help those who are poor to have means to buy your products and you will succeed. The other part is climate change. We are always talking about climate change, which is my brother here, uh, Miroslav, uh, talked a lot about the climate change and all what did, uh, what's happened in California. But we need sometimes small steps in our uh, local environments. 
APCD is actually um, leading a campaign in Chad, planting uh, 600 uh, fruit trees in the capital, in some neighborhood in the capital, as a pilot project. This will help us to fight the certification and also to, produ to provide fruits and food and, um, and vitamins to our citizens. Uh, we are also um, hearing a lot in the news about all these funds that uh, are mobilized to uh, prevent immigration. Why are these people immigrating? Why do they want to go to live in Europe and to leave their villages and cities? We should address this question instead of just by uh, uh, providing military solutions or uh, sea guards and whatever they are doing in all these conferences, but to work on sustainable development in our countries and help these people to feel in their own heaven in their country. So this is the philosophy. So our vision is that um, a global uh, multiple stakeholder partnership will provide to create solutions for these complex social issues. So our, com our belief is that when we have these initiatives together, we can have solutions to these uh, problems. So uh, our mission is uh, to create and develop strategic partnership to innovate local solutions for global issues and challenges. Working and fostering, uh, on fostering the implementation of the SDGs in our region by uh, taking in account our local realities. Our main goal is to work on sustainability through breaking the dependency chain. We don't want to be always waiting for others to give us. We want to be able to give instead of just receiving. So we should help people to find resources, like for example, we are talking about um, uh, bringing clean water to people. So we won't always, for example, in Chad, ask Al Najat to fund uh, building of new wells and after some time we will need to repair them. No, this is not sustainable and we will stay dependent. But what we need is to help developing strategies to make people being able to provide their own water. So the strategy is to uh, prioritize. Like for example, uh, in some communities, and this is what's happened to us in Chad uh, some time ago, um, you may have several problems which is be the first is um, to talk about democracy and uh, make riots and try to fight for uh, uh, whatever we are, we are fighting for, but then we don't have education, no class, no economy, and then it's chaos. So I think it's wise to, to, to define together the priorities and where we need to act. In our belief, we should focus on education and empowerment first. Education and empowerment first, so that people can know about their rights and their limits. So, yes, for um, the last part is we need to create motivation and to make people believe that it is possible to change, it is possible to work for positive social change, and not just to wait the change to come from others, and to believe that we are able to change by ourselves. Not to ask our countries what the country gives to me, but what can I give to the country. So um, just to give a little example that this is possible, in our city, in Bangor, we have uh, uh, health problems. We, we have uh, uh, less. We don't have uh, real infrastructures for uh, a good hospital. So, we locally decided to have a hospital, a proper hospital. 
So we got the land from the citizens. And then we made a proposal. Some of our architects, local uh, citizens, they designed the hospital. We went to Al Najat, who at that time didn't have the money, but who worked with us, with some other partners in another country, who financed the construction of the hospital. And then through our friends in Belgium, we got the equipment. And from Mali, we got some doctors who came and started running the hospital. And it's working now. And we are planning to build the second one. So we, we, defined, we, we, we identified where there is a lack, and we helped the government to have a new hospital servicing the population. She said, two minutes, I leave this for questions. Thank you. Thank you.